Um, oh, well, they have had it tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, they, so I'm putting my feet up. Yeah, the nice black and white. Mucked out. Now to wash his legs and then plait him up. He's been rid of hay and his hay net, but if I do that, I won't be able to plait him. Because he's a piggy, big, big, big. Hey, right, Rody. Shit all over his legs. Competition ready. Right, ready for the off. This is possibly the worst plaits I've ever done. I had particularly bad arthritic fingers this morning. There was quite a lot of horn blowing from the huntsman, which is very helpful. Look at that shiny coat. Are you ready, Brody? Let's hope Mummy's going to be a good girl today. Right, we're getting loaded up. I don't know why I'm a little bit more nervous today. Um, I think it's probably because I've cocked up the last twice. So, um, anyway, I'm waking up with... He's a good boy. No, not that way. I want to say he's a good boy, he's going the wrong way. Anyway, hopefully we'll have a good day. I'm determined to try and set up more, Simon. Um, and uh, stay focused. Travelled well. He travels very well always, Brody. Travel boots off and some grass and a leg stretch before we walk the course. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, look, look at just these legs. Good to you there, Bran. Yeah. The tan on that. Fantastic. Um. Have you, um... Hi Justine, um, <laughs> what's the, what's the, what's the, uh... What's the crowning? You look, uh, you look like you've been away. I have. Oh, 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> She's disappeared. Have a to call. Hi everybody. Number 518 today. Rider just in ward yet. We, we haven't got the new rider yet. Um, <laughs> blimey. <laughs> you look like, um, like you've been away. Yeah. Have you been anywhere nice? I've been to Corfu. Okay. Hi everybody. Uh, here we are on a Friday afternoon. Actually, it's not raining. Number 518. Oh, oh yeah. Um, oh, you look like you've been away, Justine. I have. Been anywhere nice? Been to Corfu. Oh, very, very good. Very nice. Oh. And um, did you take your horse with you? Because uh, um, to keep him fit, or did no, you? No, I had two very lovely people go to ride him. I had Janice, who I have dressage lessons with, and, and then Lucy, oh, Footloose. Footloose, Lucy. Yeah. Blimey, um, that was uh, lucky for you that those two could ride him. It was very, they were very, very kind, very helpful, and it was great because it meant he kept him work. Um, they only rode him in school because he can be a bit sharp out riding, and I didn't want them to oh, very have good. an accident. No. Um, so you, so how was he when you returned? Was he pleased to see you? He was pleased to see me. Oh well, that's good. That's good. And um, so today, uh, not novice again. Novice again. Um, and are you doing the um, you're doing the dressage first? And then quick turnaround, show jumping. Yeah. And then quick turnaround, cross country. And you're doing it um, on a surface this time, so. Dressage and show jumping. Yeah. So viewers, um, uh, you don't need studs on a surface, so mm. we're not putting the studs in until we do Go the cross country. Cross country. Yeah, and uh, out of time, do and also viewers, I, 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 um, I gleaned last time we went eventing that there's two different saddles used in the, um, in the sport. There's one saddle used for dressage, and then another one's used. It's not a very good um, side of you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, other. So there's a dressage saddle and a jumping saddle. Um, which is slightly confusing because to um, it. Have you uh, ever ridden in a dressage saddle? Uh, I've never felt the need to. No, <laughs> I, I have to say at a distance they both look the bloody same. So, no. um, <laughs> so can, can you just explain what? Um, well, the, the dressage uh, it's saddle. It's not very good. I can't. Sorry, the dressage saddle um, is longer cut, so it allows for your leg because you ride with a much longer stirrup. Okay. So it like allows your leg to be longer and straighter down, whereas right. cross country you need your knees up, yeah. so it's more forward cut to accommodate okay. shorter stirrups. I can't... And you definitely need both. Well, I say you definitely yeah. don't need both. It's much better for your leg position and your ride. Does that um, cheap brand of saddle that you use yeah. make dressage saddles as well as jumping saddles? They do, yeah. And do you have a... I have a very old one of those. A cheap. I have um, a very old one of those. Oh, so you wait. Oh, so so I'm a just new one. I'm looking at that because I'm looking one. to update it. Oh, I don't know whether we can afford that. <laughs> a little bit of help from what are they called? Just, just, just. Well, being as you forgot your wallet when we went on holiday, I think you can afford it. What are the saddles <laughs> called? Devaku. Uh, yeah. I thought they were the ones beginning with S, but no. Maybe if DevQ are a bit tight, we might get the S ones. <laughs> I don't know what the S ones are. Steubens? Oh, no, darling. Do they make saddles? They do, they do, yeah. I oh. I used to have a Steuben. I think you still got it. No, you just chucked it in the bin. I don't... <laughs> Did I? I think it'd probably fallen apart. Um, it came with my horse, my pony. Emma? Oh, probably, yeah. It had a big bit cut out of the front. Yeah. Anyway, so we're ready and well, um, I'm getting ready. I want to yeah. take the top off. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> uh, so I was working in, Brody worked in really well. It was quite cramped working in and quite dusty. Um, I still probably had a little bit of tension in me because I wanted it to go well and I found it quite difficult to get any sort of rhythm because there was always somebody else riding in front of me. And because Brody doesn't always do the best mediums, I was getting a bit frustrated um, with him and myself. Um, but he worked in 
he worked in quite well. I mean, he's always so calm and quiet. Um, not quiet, but well behaved. Um, and he was listening and he was, he was doing everything I asked. It was just all a little bit, it just lacked something. And I didn't, didn't feel like I'd quite got him. Um, and you can look for all sorts of excuses, you know, the excuse that I had been away, hadn't ridden him for a while. Um, but I think they're all just excuses. He just was a little bit lacking and I didn't quite get my head round the movements and the normal working in that I would do to try and loosen him up a bit. Um, but yeah, you know, I couldn't complain. He listened. He just felt I hadn't quite got him in the hand. He was a little bit fiddly, a little bit fiddly with the bit. And I was, I know I was tense in my shoulders, so I was probably using the rein a bit too much. Um, not concentrating on the back end. With Brody, I need to concentrate on the back end, working through a bit more. Um, but yeah, I was looking, he was going well. So I was hopeful for a, a good test. So, um, unfortunately, I've had to mute Charlie's commentary again because you can't really hear it. I, I'm going to have to invest in a microphone for him. I have to say I have got one, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> anyway, um, i better read the instructions, I suppose. So, Brody worked in quite well. Um, yeah, it just didn't feel like I'd completely got him in the hand and I probably went to the hand to correct it and I should have gone to my leg. Um, hindsight's an amazing thing. Anyway, just getting ready. The bell goes in a minute and I think Charlie goes off piste in a minute with the camera. Yeah, here he goes. I can't remember what he was saying. Something witty. And possibly something that needed muting anyway. Oh. So I was chuffed to bits with my halt because Brody has the tendency to be very wide behind. He was a little bit wobbly and he obviously came up and crooked and he opened his mouth and his tongue came out. So I got a four, which was harsh, but... Uh, perfectly acceptable um now we're doing medium to show a few medium strides now for Brody these were a few medium strides but it was running and she put that and I got a five um she was marking very harshly however she was marking harshly all day so um it is what it is You just see, I'm just losing the rhythm. Actually, it's interesting. This is the third time I've watched it and it's worse than I thought it was. Um, nice canter transition. And here, down the long side, we have to show a few medium canter strides. Now, I thought I'd really been expressive and really made a, a conscious effort to change coming back. But actually, you can't see a lot of difference. So... Um, and then we go across the diagonal and into trot. I got a good mark for that. And that was nice. I didn't get the best mark for my medium walk. And I think he's got a good walk. I mean, it was all right, but she could have been nicer. And then we're meant to do extended walk across the diagonal. And I... It started quite well. And I felt that he, you could just see he was trying to go down and I put my leg on at the wrong time and he jogged. It was completely my fault. Um, yeah. So truck transition and then you do two half circles like the start of the two serpentines and I meant to canter at, at x but I felt he wasn't quite with me so I prepared and he cantered 
and there was nothing I could do about it. There was no point making him trot, but obviously that knocked me a few marks. And again, we do medium canter down the long sides. I thought this one was better than the first one. It felt better on top than it looked. And again, I'm now meant to do another medium trot. I thought this was better than first. She didn't like it any more than the last one. So I've been working on that this week, actually. It does look a little bit unsteady and fiddly, and I look like I'm fiddling a lot. My legs need to be stiller. And I definitely need a better sports bra. And then again, classic wide behind. And a little hitch, but good boy. Overall, I was pleased. I knew it wasn't the best. I was disappointed with the mark, but say la vie. It looked all right. Right. But yeah, he, yeah, he did. He was good, right? I just overrode the extended walk and he jogged. Uh, but no, I was pleased with him. I mean, he blessed him. He does everything you ask. I just don't feel like I've really got him at the moment. Um, you know, I need to start making a bigger improvement. Does that make sense? Well, I think you're being slightly hard on yourself because you made. You're making massive improvements, aren't you? Yes, I am. I just, I just feel You need like... to step up to the next level. Yes. But you're pleased then, yeah? Yes, very pleased. Good boy. Yeah. So, So when the bell goes, you start. That's my hand there. That's one Go away, girl. Yeah, tight. today. Um, we're on a surface today as you can see. Not many on a surface but there we go. Fingers crossed. Can't breathe. So if you as you'll remember last week she went wrong for the last time. So one assume that won't happen, but fingers crossed. We're getting near the end. My bloody heart's pounding. Right, we've got a treble here. One, two, right, come on Brody, come on Brody. That's it, beautiful. How was that then? I thought you'd gone wrong again because I looked up and you're coming at an angle towards me. <laughs> and uh, I, I well, <laughs> I thought, oh shit, she's gone wrong. No, I just, I just, just kept. Well, I kept thinking any minute now the bell's going to go. <laughs> and. Uh, no, it was very good. And it, it feels, it's lovely because it's consistently jumping nice round. He cleared it by foot by. Oh no, so good. Does he pull you into the jumps then? Uh, no, but he's going in a nice rhythm. I don't feel like I'm having to do a lot. No. You know, to keep him in a rhythm. He never pulls you. It, yep. It's easy when they take you a bit, and he never does that, but he goes in a rhythm. 
Hey! Anything for the camera, madam? Just a big smile. Oh, lovely. Um, oh bless her, we see her every time we come and die. Um, good, brilliant. Nice ass. Commentator, commentator is being super good, suited and booted, ready for the cross country. I'm going to get his boots out, yeah? We put studs in so that they don't slip on the ground and as it's a bit hard he's got little pointy studs in. What you don't know is Charlie used to be in the majorettes. <laughs> Well, you'll, you've guessed, we've made it past the um, show jumping phase this week, which is a bonus. Um, and there she is in the start box. Off she goes, here we go.
How was that then? That was very good. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, big green places. He helped me out, I helped him out. Oh, good. Um, he, but yeah, loved it. Uh, Excellent. He, he was very good. So did, did you, you see him at that chicana? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I did, saw a long one, and I saw a long one at the last place. Because um, cause the tree was quite low as well there, wasn't it? Yeah, but he bloody flew it. That, um, he gives every jump about a foot. I know. And, uh, very good. He just felt a little bit green to start. Yeah. So did it, did it make you feel like a teenager or a, or a, or a 30 year old? I heard it beeping before the last fence. What, your phone? Your phone? And I thought, oh, I'm a bit slow. Oh, you haven't got a message from someone then? I thought, oh my God, <laughs> I, um, oh my God, I'm, I'm definitely getting old if I'm slow. How do you mean you're slow? Yeah, he was very good. Oh. I was a bit slow, yeah. I think I think I think everybody was slow, weren't they? I don't know. Good boy, good boy. Brody's had his recovery mash. He was a very good boy. Is he eating it all? No. Oh, he's not overly keen on it, which is surprising because he's normally inhales his food. Maybe I'll try a different flavour. It's banana flavoured. Super Cream's doing a very good job. Well, oh, Super Cream Mark Two. Oh, I wonder who this is. With, uh... Oh, hello. It's my wife. I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, do you recognise me from behind? Yeah, I do, darling, of course I do. I know, I know the beauty, wherever I, whichever way around you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're driving out, we're going to have a deep breath. How are you feeling, darling? Fine, thank you. Well, I'll say is if you think about having the um, the Mark II for a chicken in at uh, Aston Villas tomorrow, I'd give it a swerve. <laughs> I think it was it was 
slightly disappointing when I heard you say that the, your dressage sheet, you couldn't read the writing, even read the writing. So my immediate thought was maybe if they're going to give you a bad mark, they should at least um, give you the benefit of actually writing something. I know, that I, you could, read. I could read, I could read, I just couldn't read the writing of the judge at the bottom. So I didn't know who the judge was or what they were saying at the bottom. But the writer that writes for the judge, I could read that. Oh, okay. Um, I couldn't, so I wouldn't have a clue who the judge was. Why, did the judge only have two fingers or something? I, no, I don't think so. Um, anyway, he did a very nice, clear show jumping, didn't he? Yes, a very good show jumping. Um, I think that's your, um, well, last time I would have said it's your weakest link, but... Well, that's because I missed four fences out. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> It's quite, quite positive jumping on that surface, isn't it? It's very good. I think now we're consistently jumping clear rounds. I mean, I'll probably have one down next time, but it feels like we're in a really good rhythm together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then cross country was good. It was a little bit greener in, at times, but he's not been out for a while. He's not been cross country for a while. And what I liked was when he was green at one, we landed nowhere near the skinny and I just pulled him to it and he said, all right then, and just went for it, you know. He, he worked with me, we worked together, which was good. Well, you're about to say something, you're laughing at me. What? No, 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 it was really good. I, uh, I, I enjoy watching the cross country, but unfortunately there, you've got, unless you know, unless you've been there quite a few times, it's quite confusing because there's, um, jumps everywhere and whatever. I, I sound like I'm moaning, but I'm not. I mean, I saw... Well, I knew where I was going. 70% of it. I knew where I was going. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. That's a, um, a bonus, eh? Yeah. Um, I thought you went well, though, didn't you? Across yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be really pleased. Yeah, I no, I am very pleased. Thank you very much, Dying, for driving. Well, I was glad, I'm glad we've got our own loop. <laughs> <laughs> I should be glad when I get home. Yeah, as well. you're back. Um, anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs>
circular fence, which is a bit odd, but yeah, I saw a good stride, kicked and he went. And he was super coming through here. Just ran through the water, dead straight. He never wavered and just pinged in his stride. So it was lovely, really pleased with that. Um, the commentator was very complimentary about me jumping that one. Should I? That's how you should do it, in a nice rhythm. I think she'd had a long day. And then this next one, you had to come up the mound, jump it, and it was meant to be two strides, but it was long, and Brodie fiddled a little extra stride in, and we weren't straight to the skinny coming out, but I just took a pull, and he just, okay, locked on, so I was really pleased with him there. He was sort of, that's when he was starting to show, come on, I'm with you, Mum. Um, it's times like those when you realise they, they're growing up a bit, so I was really pleased with that. I don't know why, but he screwed his back legs over this one. They weren't close, but... Um, he didn't feel like he did, but... Yeah, jumped that nicely. Lovely hedge here. Jumped this lovely. And then we had a big slip on the corner. And then I saw a long one. And boy, did he take off. He was a good boy. And then again, you see I slip here. Lose his back end which meant we were completely sort of on the back foot coming into that one, so we'd rather climb that one. And he was lovely here, really balanced. He changed legs and just nice over this. Three from home. Um, my watch was beeping at me, so I got a wiggle on after this and saw a long one at the last. But he just, he was lovely, just took up the bridle a bit and... Jumped it nicely, so very, very pleased. Delighted. And then, exciting few days, we've been wedding dress shopping for number one, which is a mum, I'm so excited. Um, and uh, yeah, we just a lot of fun. So watch this space. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel and share it far and wide and if you'd like to see a different vlog because I'm, I'm very aware that I just keep doing my next competition which I'm happy to do um, but if you want to see a different vlog something different let me know and uh, I'll try and see what I can do